Liber 49, The Book of Babylon Recited by Rosemary Stelic for the International Online Symposium of Magic and Witchcraft October 2018 A Complimentary Meditation to Deepen My Grimoire Essay Offering entitled Sanguis et Tenebrae The Babylon Working was a series of magical ceremonies and rituals performed from January to March of 1946 by author, poet, pioneer rocket fuel scientist and occultist Jack Parsons. The ritual was designed to manifest an individual incarnation of the archetypal divine feminine Babylon, as inspired by Aleister Crowley. Liber 49 Yea, it is I, Babylon. This is my book. That is the fourth chapter of the Book of the Law. He completing the name for I am out of Nuit by Horus, the incestuous sister of Rahur Kuit. It is Babylon, time is, ye fools. Thou hast called me, O oh, cursed and beloved fool. Now know that I, Babylon, would take flesh and come among men. I will come as the penniless flame, as a devious song, a trumpet in judgment halls, a banner before armies and gather my children unto me, for the time is at hand. This is the way of my incarnation. Heed! Thou shalt offer all thou art and all thou hast at my altar, withholding nothing. Thou shalt be smitten, full, Sore, and thereafter thou shalt be outcast and accursed, a lonely wanderer in abominable places. Ye dare. I have asked of none other, nor have they asked. Else is in vain. But thou hast willed it. Know then, that thus I came to thee before thou, a great Lord, and I am made and wrapped. Ah, blind folly! And thereafter madness, all in vain. Thus it has been multiform. How thou hast burned beyond. I shall come again, in the form thou knowest. Now it shall be thy blood. The altar is aright, and the robe. The perfume is sandal, and the cloth green and gold. There is my cup, our book, and thy dagger. There is the flame. The sigil of devotion, be it consecrated, be it true, be it daily affirmed, I am not scorned, thy love is to me, procure a disc of copper in diameter three inches, paint thereon the field of blue, the star of gold of me, Babylon. It shall be my talisman. Consecrate with the supreme rituals of the word and the cup. My cause, as thou knowest, all of songs are of me. Also, seek me in the seventh air. This for a time appointed, seek not the end. 
I shall instruct thee in my way, but be true. Would it be hard if I were thy lover, and before thee I am thy lover and I am with thee? I shall provide a vessel. When or whence I say not, seek her not, call her not, let her declare. Ask nothing, keep silence. There shall be ordeals. My vessel must be perfect. This is my way of her perfection. The working is of nine moons. The Astarte working with music and feasting and wine and the arts of love. Let her be dedicated, consecrated, blood to blood, heart to heart, mind to mind, single in will, none without the circle, all to me. And she shall wander in the witchwood under the night of Pan and know the mysteries of the goat and the serpent and of the hidden children. I will provide the place and the material basis and thou the tears and the blood. Is it difficult between matter and spirit? For me it is ecstasy and agony untenable. But I am with thee. I have large strength. Have thou likewise. Thou shalt prepare my book for her instruction. Thou shalt teach that she may have captains and adepts in her service. Yea, thou shalt take the black pilgrimage. But it will not be thou that returnest. Let her prepare the work according to my voice in her heart. With thy book as thy guide, none other instructing. Let her be in all things wise and sure and excellent. But let her think on this. My way is not in the solemn ways, or in the reasoned ways, but in the wild free way of the eagle, and the devious way of the serpent, and the oblique way of the factor unknown and unnumbered. For I am Babylon, and she, my daughter, unique. There shall be no other woman like her. In my name shall she have all power, and all men excel. Lent things, and kings, and captains, and the secret ones at her command. The first servants are chosen in secret. By my force in her, a captain, a lawyer, an agitator and a rebel shall I provide. Call me, my daughter, and I shall come to thee. Thou shalt be full of my force and my fire, my passion and my power. Shall surround and inspire thee, my voice in thee shall judge nations. None shall resist thee whom I love. Though they call thee harlot and whore, shameless, false and evil, these words shall be blood in their mouths and dust thereafter. But my children will know thee and love thee. This will make them free. All is in thy hands, all power, all hope, all future. One came as a man and was weak and failed. One came as a woman and was foolish and failed. But thou art beyond man and woman.
my star is in thee, and thou shalt fail. Even now thy hour strikes upon the clock of my father, for he prepareth a banquet and a bridal bed. I was that bride appointed from the beginning, as it was written, T O P A N. Now is the hour of birth at hand, now shall my adept be crucified in the basilisk abode. Thy tears, thy sweat, thy blood, thy semen, thy love, thy faith shall provide. I shall drain thee like the cup that is me, Babylon. Stand thou fast. I shall pass the first veil to speak with thee. Through the stars shake. Stand thou fast, and I shall pass the second veil while God and Jesus be smitten with the sword of Horus. Stand thou fast, and I shall pass the third veil. The shapes of hell shall be turned again to loveliness. For thy sake, I shall stride through the flames of hell, though my tongue be bitten through. Let me behold thee naked and lusting after me, calling my name. Let me receive all thy manhood within my cup, climax upon climax, joy upon joy. Yea, we shall conquer death and hell together. And the earth is mine. Thou shalt make the black pilgrimage. Yea, it is even I, Babylon, and I shall be free. Thou fool, be free. Be thou also free of sentimentality. Am I thy village queen? And thou a sophomore? that thou shouldst have thy nose in my buttocks. It is I, Babylon, ye fools. My time has come, and this is my book that my adept prepares, the book of Babylon. Yea, my adept, the black pilgrimage, Thou shalt be accursed, this is the nature of the curse. Thou shalt publish the secret matter of the adepts thou knowest, withholding no word in it, in an appendix to this book. So they shall cry, fool, liar, sot, traducer, betrayer. Thou art not glad thou meddled with magic? There is no other way, dear fool, this is the eleventh hour. The seal of my brother is upon the earth, and his avatar is before you. There is threshing of the wheat and the trampling of grapes that shall not cease until the truth be known unto the least of men. But you who do not accept, you who see beyond, reach out your hands, my children, and reap the world in the hour of your harvest. Gather together in the covens as of old, whose number is eleven, that is also my number. Gather in public, in song and dance and festival. Gather together in secret. Be naked and shameless and rejoice in my name. Work your spells by the mode of my book, practicing secretly, introducing the supreme spell, the work of the image and the potion and the charm the work of the spider and the snake and the little ones that go in the dark 
This is your work. Who loves, not hates. Who hates, fears, let him taste fear. This is the way of it, star, star, burning bright, moon, witch moon. You, the secret, the outcast, the accursed, the despised. Even you that gather privily of old in my rights under the moon. You, the free, the wild, the untamed, that walk now alone and forlorn. Behold, my brother, the cracks of the world like the nut are for your eating. Yea, my father has made a house for you, and my mother has prepared a bridal bed. My brother has confounded your enemies. I am the bride appointed. Come ye to the nuptial. Come ye now. My joy is the joy of eternity, and my laughter is the drunken laughter of the harlot in the house of ecstasy. All you love is sacred. All your loves are sacred. Pledge them all to me. Set my star upon the banners and go forward in joy and victory. None shall deny you. None shall stand before you because the sword of my brother invokes me. Call upon me. Call me in your convocations and rituals. Call upon me in your loves and your battles. In my name, Babylon wherein all power is given.